everyone, I'm back. It's Sinead with Free Tours by Foot London. I have the majestic St. Paul's Cathedral right behind me. And we are on our little walkabout again today. Now this is still part of our execution series of London. I want to bring you to one of the more famous buildings in London. And we're going to have a quick chat about a building that is still in operation today. Um, has been the site of punishment and execution since the early 1400s. But what I want to talk to you about today is what was the former Newgate prison. And that stands on the site of what is called the Old Bailey. And the Old Bailey was the highest criminal court in the land presently. But it was formerly Newgate prison where the last public execution took place in the city in 1868. That's the last public execution. In fact, the last execution took place in 1965, actually, in the Tower of London. But more on that to come when I speak about Tower Hill and the Tower of London. But for right now, we're going to focus on the Old Bailey. This magnificent building takes its name actually from the street it is on. The street it's on, and I'm just about to show you that, is Old Bailey Street. And it's named after the Roman wall that would have ran along this very street that was outside of the city of London. And the fortification part of that was, this was part of the Bailey for the fortification of the old city. Let me turn you around and we're going to get this started. We are heading towards the Old Bailey. Now the Old Bailey was the, is the highest criminal court in the land. Uh, it's seen some of the most famous criminal trials in British history. And I will come back to that in a moment, but it's also on. So it's right ahead of me there. We're going to come right on it in just a second. You'll see the amazing gold statue there on top. And it's seen the criminal trials of some of Britain's most infamous serial killers over the years. But it's also on the former site of what was known as Newgate Prison, where the last public execution in this country took place in 1868. And we're going to talk a little bit more about its origins because it's also had a prison, this Newgate Prison, there was a prison on the site for over 500 years. So it's always been the symbol of guilt and misery in London. It's even mentioned in Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens where Fagin is tried, sentenced and executed here. It's the city's main prison for over 500 years, or it was. So it was built originally in 1422. And it was built from funds from the Dick Whittington, the three times Lord Mayor of London. Now it was one mass dungeon with one window, poor hygiene, no sanitation, horrendous conditions inside in Newgate Prison. As I said, mass dungeons with one window. And here she is, the beautiful Lady of Justice up on top. So it was rebuilt, it's actually destroyed in the Great Fire and it was rebuilt. But you can just imagine the unsanitary and the overcrowding. They even kept pigs in there, ladies and gents, which is just horrendous. The notion of how these people were imprisoned in medieval times, particularly, well, all the way up to Victorian times, actually. And here it's a stunning building. Uh, there was one notorious escape artist shall we say his name was Jack Shepherd and he escaped the Old Bailey here in 1724 uh, dressed as a woman out these main gates so when he was recaptured I love the idea that they actually recaptured him and he escaped again he literally broke through six iron doors and reached the roof and when he finally got through onto the roof of the building he decided he needed his blankets back in his cell to lower himself down the side. So he went back to his cell, 
got on the roof, lowered himself down the side, and he was arrested in a gin house on Drury Lane. And when he was recaptured this time, they weighed him down with 300 pounds of iron. But the most incredible part of this is in 1910, I think it's around 1910, you see, by the end of the 18th century, all the executions from Tyburn Gallows at Marble Arch or the Tyburn Tree, and I'll be doing um, a video on that, they were all moved here to the Old Bailey. And it was usually hanging, but people would come here and residents in the neighborhood would charge people 10 pounds for them to use their top windows to get a good view. And I always like to think when you speak about execution in London, you have to think about maybe Cersei when she was having that walk of atonement in Game of Thrones. People would throw vicious, dirty, rotten vegetables at them as they were about to face execution. They would curse at them and swear at them and spit at them. But this is where it replaced the Tyburn executions and they were all executed in the basement here of the Old Bailey, formerly Newgate Prison. So when the victim was dead then, they hoisted a black flag after the victim was executed. And what they did then was the crowd cheered three times because executions here in London were perceived as great days out essentially. Um, but in recent years, the newest building you see here, this beautiful building that replaced Newgate Prison is now the highest criminal court in the land. And the building was demolished and rebuilt in 1902. And it was replaced by the Old Bailey Central Criminal Court. Um, even when they did, they were selling artifacts from Newgate Prison, which is quite depressing. Uh, a lot of people. So it was an Edward William Montfort building. He rebuilt it in 1902. And the gilt bronze statue you see on top is the Lady of Justice. So she's holding a sword in one hand and the scales of justice in the other. It's a little difficult to see, but um, in recent years then you had some of the most famous criminal trials in British history. Uh, the Cray twins were tried in here, as was Amelia Dyer. Now, Amelia Dyer was one of the more pro prolific female serial killers in this country. Uh, there was a period of time here in the UK but there was big business in baby farming. Now, baby farming was actually um, where unmarried mothers were pregnant and having children. But of course, they were outcasts then in society. So Amelia Dyer would purchase the babies and offer to give them a very, very good home. Um, in the course of her year, of her 30 years of baby farming, she would promise the unwed mothers that she would find suitable homes for these little infants and they say she ended up murdering over 400 of them so she eventually met her death here she was hanged in 1896 in the old bailey on the 10th of june but a horrible horrible story about amelia dyer and one of the most scary stories in the area now usually this beautiful church you see across the road here it's the Church of... Now, more recent trials, sorry, I'm getting a bit distracted there, would have included the Cray Twins and the Yorkshire Ripper. I believe it was Ronnie Cray who said if he wasn't here on trial, he would be having tea with Judy Garland, which I thought was quite uh, witty. So if you are enjoying the tour so far, go ahead and click that like and share button and help others discover this video. And for more virtual tours of London and beyond, consider subscribing to our channel. Be sure to visit our website to learn more about our in-person tours and London travel tips. We also offer live and virtual tours in cities throughout the world. You can help support this channel by donating through the thanks button or by buying your tour guide a pint or a cup of coffee. Links to do so are in the description below. Now back to the tour. This is the church and I'm very worried about pronouncing this St. Sepulchre and it's in this very church there's a commemoration plaque to Captain John Smith who was rescued of course by Pocahontas and he is the founder of modern day Virginia but the chaplain would be the in the church would be the one to administer the last rites to the condemned who are about to be executed 
So apparently there's a tunnel between the Old Bailey and this very church underground so he could uh, have the prisoners over, administer the last rites before execution so they didn't have to face the thousands of people that would be here to watch the public executions. So a morbid, morbid past and a morbid history of the Old Bailey and the cellars, I believe you can get a guy to tour them, but it's very difficult to get inside. As far as I know, it takes about six months. Um, you can go on a waiting list, and I believe it's the clerk of the Old Bailey is the one that will guide you around. But I mean, what an amazing thing to do. And I'm going to definitely try and see if I can get in there because it's fascinating history in there. So the statue itself is by Pomeray and the building itself is by Edward William Monfort. It was a stunning building, again, a Victorian building, built in 1902. Now, it, the original Newgate, of course, was burned down during the Great Fire, and that was rebuilt again. But a uh, huge part of London's history, and even to this day, you have major criminal trials in there now. And apparently you can visit inside during some of these trials and sit in the uh, public galleries and watch them take place but some of the more popular ones over the years like the Yorkshire Ripper uh, thousands of people showed up to try to get inside to see that taking place so that's the Old Bailey that's one of the first sites on our execution tours the Old Bailey and Newgate Prison <laughs>